Welcome back, everyone, for more Subnautica modded. Last time we looked at the sea truck, and while I didn't get to see everything of the new mods for the sea truck, we do have a few more things to see today. I do have some new mods today, and for the first one, all I have to do is jump in the water because the first mod is random creature size. Now, you might not notice it right off the bat. After all, these creatures are on the smaller side already. But this is supposed to cause that creatures will be a random size. And you see, that is definitely a smaller bladder fish than the other one. So it's, it's a cosmetic change. It's not a, oh yeah, look at that. That is a big one right there. Look at the size of that. Now, they're still gonna be the same size in your inventory, of course. And it's just a cosmetic thing to make it look a little bit more on the realistic side because obviously you're not gonna have all the same size fish of a certain kind but we still have some bigger creatures to go look at and we also have uh besides a clearly smaller sea monkey he is much smaller uh we also have some other scans i have to do to unlock stuff for the sea truck mods so let's grab my sea truck out of the nice new moon pool and let's go do some work. All right, we got Crypto, which I am going to say he looks bigger. I mean, it's hard to tell without having another one right next to him, but he looks bigger. And he is after me. Get out. Kind of hit me and then pushed me. Oh, yeah, he looks bigger. Uh, let's see, that guy does not look as big. Again, hard to tell without them being side by side, but he definitely looks bigger, and I took some injury on that. I did not bring my, uh, shrub nuts like I should have. I've got some healing, though. I, I'm okay. And I did this before I put the depth upgrades back. Uh, that did not work. We're gonna put, you know, put, oh, well does not want to move uh, uh and now again my depth upgrades messing up 650 it still says i have it but where is it because i i don't see it <laughs> my where'd my depth upgrade go you know what c truck call strength Okay, something, yeah, something is acting goofy again. Oh, man. All right. Uh, I'm kind of afraid to leave it like this. I, I feel like if I don't... Yeah, I I'm going to have to reload my save again. Uh, something's just, and I've already, I remember seeing a comment about this. Something with the toolbar extender and then the slot extender something's just not playing nice with these mods right now if i can do nope okay yeah all right well let, i'm gonna start again so now i notice i get in i haven't changed anything as far as the mods and my storage in one and two is not showing right there and i, I that was there just a moment ago uh and oh yes half of it so what I did is I didn't completely quit the game. I just went back to the main menu and loaded the save, which I have seen a similar issue with the original game with some mods where if you don't completely quit and then reopen from scratch, uh, the mods kind of mess up. So I guess I gotta do that now. So now that my mods are working again, first stop, Omega base if I can never find my way to the one of those entrances without getting stuck Still the problem with the sea truck. It gets Hard to maneuver even with a, like just two modules on it. Okay. I uh, yeah, we'll scan it and I'm actually going to Take a seed so I'll have that Just need the one swim charge fins is kind of the main thing. I actually wanted to come here for Got to scan all the beds, pick up the picture frame. Yeah, gotta get the aromatherapy lamp. So while I'm here, and I've already built the depth module Mark II, I'm gonna go ahead and knock out this net spot. We got the architect body cache marker here now. 
I'm gonna go ahead and get this taken care of so I don't have to come back here. Oh, that's definitely a bigger looking lily paddler. Uh, you stay over there. I'm not interested in your mesmerizing gaze. Let's grab some flowering spores because I need some fancy garden lights. Probably should grab this too. At least, you know, we'll grab two. Yeah, or three. Yeah, three seeds. That should be enough. And we'll grab the special eggs. Is it two of them here? Uh, is there a third one anywhere? I, I don't see a third one. We got just two. Okay. Body part cash. Uh, get everything ready. I do my scans. Ornamental plant. Uh, gotta scan the component, you know, normal stuff like that. The other statue that is not scannable, surprisingly. I mean, it's, you know, it's the same as the other one we find, but this one can't be scanned. And now, instead of doing four ion batteries, I'm gonna go do two this time, because I have plenty of power. This way, I have a way to cycle out. And I am going to tell it to find, well, I was going to go for creature egg, but the creature egg disappeared. Right, don't, don't. Ah, you did. Well, still not getting creature eggs to show up. So I haven't even told it to scan for anything, and I'm down to 99%. So yeah, just having this on, tiny, tiny bit of drain, but not a lot. But yeah, it's, I'm not picking up any creature eggs. I don't know why. Now, I'm in the thermal spires, not worried about creature eggs. I am worried about chelicerin. Uh, but I'm also looking for, and it's not on the list, fragments. This is where I should be able to find some more fragments for the arms, for particularly the claw arm. And you know what, that's the way down to Marguerite's. I'm not gonna go that way just yet. Ion cube. I'm picking up ion cubes, which are down below, but no fragments. No fragments. Okay, that's a little odd, I want to say. I, I would expect fragments to be showing up, at least at the other spot where I'm right next to Marguerite's a little area. But it's not picking up any fragments anywhere. I'm right, gonna get the scan. And ion cube. Uh, yeah, that's enough. I got, I'll come back later if I really need the diamond. There's plenty of diamond around. All right, fragments. Scan and find me fragments. Preferably, you know, not just the thermal plants that are down here. Give me something else. And of course, thermal plant. Not a uh, claw arm like it's supposed to be or something like that, you know. It seems that a couple of the arms are not working with the Sea Truck Arms mod. At least as far as the spawning of the blueprints you're supposed to scan. Wow, okay. So that is a perfect example of the random creature size. How tiny. Look, it's an adult that is smaller than the babies. And some of the babies are like big time adult size. So the next mod that is new has to do with the swim charge fins. Normally the swim charge fins charge the item you hold in your hand, which if I want to charge up the habitat builder, I swim around holding it and it adds power to the habitat builder. So if you wanted to charge something else, you basically had to charge up what you were holding, swap batteries out, and then keep charging. But the new mod I have actually will allow the swim charge fins to charge any battery item in your inventory once the handheld item is charged. So I'm at 95%. If I just put that away, I should be able to swim and watch it continue to charge so it went from 95% to 98% uh, when I'm holding it 
I swim, I get that charging sound from the fins. When I'm not holding it, I'm still able to charge, I'm just not getting the sound effect. The only reason I would not use it is the fact that really, you know, I swim most of the time with the Sea Glide. I can just take the battery out and swap it to one that is almost dead and charge it up again. So this one may come out, may stay. It all depends on if I see anything that makes me think it might be causing an interference. Now I have looked for the drill arm, could not find it. Looked for the claw arm, could not find it. So I unlocked the drill arm. Now I'm unlocking the claw arm and we're going to make a pro uh, sea truck claw arm for the other side. So I can also pick up stuff. Nice, satisfying sound in that with the claw arm. Let's see. Boom. That's a bigger one. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Two punches. Big boy is dead. That's what you get. Oh, there he is. He is bigger. He's definitely bigger. Yeah, he, uh, maybe he's not. He looks smaller now. Maybe it was the way it positioned me in his mouth. Look at him. He is the size of that crypto. <laughs> he's a baby. Well, not baby. He's a juvenile. He's a, he's a teenager. Whoa! Now that is a little squid shark. It is a tiny one. That's, that's a juvenile for sure. Still packs a shock. Oh, look at that brute shark right there. He's a big one. I, I definitely feel like there's more variety with the random creature size mod. But some of them, it almost feels like they're a pygmy version. And uh, like with those pinglings, it looked like some of them suffer from gigantism. All right. So there's something very specific I need here, but I'm going to do something very specific for this. Uh, we're going to do fragments and I want to see just how I uh, look, I picked up the prawn suit, uh, but I can't scan it. Because those are still doing that thing. For some reason, once you scan the and unlock it, you can't scan any of the others, which honestly doesn't make sense. If I could keep scanning the Sea Glide, why can I not keep scanning prawn suits? You know, it's one of those things that just really doesn't make sense, but the devs decide to do it that way. Now, that is a big feather fish. Go and say that. That would make a very good fillet. And. The alien containment, the critical thing I was actually coming here for. I mean, yeah, there's other stuff, but for this video, that's what I was concerned with. All right, getting my last parallel processing unit scan. I think, I think that was the last. Yep, there it goes. Had to wait. I grabbed the jukebox disc, and I still got some other stuff to scan and pick up. But that was the main stuff for here. Well, this is not really helping that much in there. And 62%, not really worth keeping it going. And the last thing, reinforced dive suit. That should be everything I really need out of here. Finally, I was able to, I knew they were here. And it took a while for it to actually pick up that there's creature eggs in range. And now I have some squid shark eggs, which are very important for the next mod. Now, the last mod for today is the better ACU mod with glare fits. Now, right in the name there, it says glare fits, which refers to the weird glare we get on the glass normally in the game that has really bothered a lot of players. So you get rid of that right off the bat. Now, there's another mod that does just that, that actually took that from this mod that I'm using and uh, the other features of the mod you don't get with the other one. But this mod, the better ACU, uh, does have a few extra things and I believe it does have the, yes. So, uh, fortunately that's not checked. I had a problem in the first game with that, uh, overflowing massively into the ocean. Uh, so you can overflow into bio reactors. Overflow into Altera Gen, which means it's prepared for when the Altera Gen is available for bo uh, below zero. You can change the alien containment limit from 10 to 100. So population size and large room, 20 to 200. 
So I'm going to leave it normal. And then there's power generation. And what that does is it allows, as the mod description states, creatures with, I think it's an electric or electrified personalities to generate power when they are in the alien containment. Now, in the first game, this was Ampials. Uh, and one more. In this case, it's Squid Sharks. Squid Sharks have the electric tendrils and uh eye jellies eye jellies will do it too so i can either have a massive amount of creatures flowing into bioreactors for power or i could just have a bunch of squid sharks and eye jellies producing power i'm not sure which one i want to go with so leave it in a comment below and let's see what everybody says i should do should i do bioreactors with automatic overflow or should i do a uh, creature powered base without bioreactors. For now, I'm just gonna go ahead and drop in squid sharks and sea monkey eggs so I can have them start producing sea monkeys for bringing me stuff and squid sharks for power or, you know, either way, bioreactor power, electric power, one way or the other. And I somewhere planted the antenna plant. I'm gonna have that as extra food and taking out the scanner module HUD chip, the C truck scanner one, because I need to be able to make this. And why is it saying I can't make a processing unit? You know what? I know I can make it. Here you go. Parallel processing unit. Okay. That one's not picking up with the easy craft. There you go. So this will give me a test display for each ping telling me how far away it is. Yeah. Fragment. Why not? I'll, I'll get some scans, get some interesting supplies. There should be a few around here. 72 meters. Okay, what do we have? Uh, anything else? No. All right. So, fragment. Yo, know, getting close to it. I know I'm getting close. I'm going towards it. But, I mean, it tells me how far. So, you may care about that. You may not. For me, I like the fact that it's just one little extra bit. 94, 145, or 44. So I could look at that, look at that, and be like, all right, uh, you know, I'm going to go with that one because of where it's the direction. But now I can look at that and be oh, wait, no, I need to go over here because these are closer. So for me, I like this. I have run out of quartz. So rather than build a scanner room for the base, which would just use base power, I'm just going to use my sea truck scanner room. It works just as well. Yes, I do have to take the batteries out to recharge. But I get this nice enhanced display, and that's a big bladder fish. Uh, I get to see the distance, which helps. So honestly, you know, there are a couple of drawbacks for this sea truck scanner room module, mainly being the, the power method, but it works just as well as the scanner room. I can't upgrade it for range. That is one of the other drawbacks, but it's portable. So, you know, how often do I really want to have it scanning 500 meters away? I'm not going to be swimming out that far. I want to stay close by. And with this, I can see the distance. And it tells me which ones are close by and make it worth going to first. So that's pretty much removed the need for a scanner room for me during this playthrough. As long as the scanner module continues to work right. That makes a two level alien containment in the new large room section as soon as those hatch and i feel like it's a good time i'm gonna move everything over to the other side keep this nice and open for my production and this will be power generation i mean either just multi-stacks producing a charge or throw in some bioreactors here and let them feed it so to recap the three new mods today in this video were, well, the random creature size just makes them go from small to large. In some cases, much more extreme than others. Uh, some cases, like the pinglings, penguins, the babies being bigger than some of the adults. And also end up with a very little chelicerate. So if you want that kind of variety visually, then check it out. That's really all it is, is random creature size. I probably won't keep it just because it's, it's nice, but it may cause some problems. Weirdness with some animations of the attacks. So I'll probably take it out. 
The second one is the swim charge inventory, which basically lets your swim charge fins charge your inventory as long as you're not holding a tool. And that's only charging tools in your inventory, not loose batteries. So it's nice if that's what you want. For me, I tend to swim with the sea glide out. So if it's always out, I'm not going to charge anything else in the inventory anyway. I might as well just go back to the old way of doing it. But if you want it, check it out. And the last one, better ACU fits with the or with the glare fits. Basically, I'm going to leave the stock population for now. And again, take your pick. Do you want it to auto feed into the bioreactors, which it will do, or allow for the squid sharks and later eye jellies to produce power themselves because they have electric personalities. Leave it in a comment below. Let me know which one you prefer to see. And of course, hit the like button if you haven't done so already and hit subscribe if you haven't done so already on that. As always, I'm your host, Mr. Spicy, and thanks for watching. I will see you next time.